Hi everyone. So if you're tuning in now, you're likely just listened to today's B moment about being pregnant with great expectations. And I promised you that I wanted to share with you what are some of those things that hold us back from keeping great expectations or, you know, having our expectations start high and end up somewhere low. And so the setting is, so first of all, I'm sitting at the table, I'm doing my studying and I'm doing a little journaling. I got some coffee going here before I hit the ground running for the rest of the day. But I was thinking about that, like what can really hold us back? Why can't we sustain our expectations once they hit a high point? And I think about when, as today be, today's B moment addressed, when Elizabeth uh, was at home, and guess who was at the door? It was Mary. And when Mary entered, John the Baptist, who was the baby in Elizabeth's womb, leaped. And so, but I want to put into context what these two women were experiencing. So Mary refers to herself as a lowly servant. And Elizabeth refers to herself as a woman who has been barren. In other words, their circumstances gave them no reason or hope to have high expectations. So Mary visits her and she not only does a, you know, just stops in to visit her, she stays with her for three months. And so I imagine that they're now both pregnant with expectations. They might get up on one morning and it's just the two of them in their kitchen. And they sit down and they have something hot to drink like I'm sipping on some coffee right now. And they're talking about all that lies ahead and what's possible. And so I started to think about What's the whole point of the Advent season? It is to fulfill the promise that the long awaited Messiah is here. He's coming. He's only a few weeks or months away. A few weeks for us because it'll be Christmas, but months for them because, you know, uh, they're still pregnant. Um, but the, the point that I wanted to get to was one of the things that holds us back is too much time passes. So you think it's never going to happen. Look at Hannah. Hannah was barren for years, but she kept the faith. She never gave up and God fulfilled his promise to us. So we have to remember that when there is a promise, when, it, when we are standing on God's word, we have to keep and stay the course because it will happen. The second thing that holds us back are the conditions themselves. We look at our circumstances. Mary was a lowly servant and uh, Elizabeth was barren. And so the thinking is, it's just never going to happen. We cannot let the conditions dictate where the God's promises will be fulfilled. And then the third and final reason that I want you to really walk away with is, who is Christ? When he was born, he was Emmanuel. And what does that mean? I am with you. We forget that we are not doing things and fulfilling our work and the assignments that he's put on our heart in our own strength. He's working with us. So if we can just keep our mindset right, and it's the beginning of the year is upon us, the holiday season. This is when I really focus on Romans 12 too. This is the renewing of the mind and the spirit so we can forge ahead and do great things and have great expectations. Love you guys. See you next week. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Bye-bye.